What's going on, y'all? Your boy Darius the Great here back again for the video. This time, we are here with a teaser trailer for Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver. Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon Part 2, right? Um, And seeing that they already dropped this teaser made me realize I did not drop a review of Rebel Moon Part 1. Uh, what was it called? The Child of Fire? A, a Child of Fire? Something like that? Yeah, I did watch it. Um, I didn't record my my uh review for it yet, and I realize that now. Um, I was thinking about doing it today, but you know it's Christmas time, and I've had myself a few libations here, so ah, probably not the best time to try and give a you know a proper review. You know, I want to have a clear head for that. So that's probably coming tomorrow, along with the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom review, which I also realized I did not record. So yeah, that's happening tomorrow. So stick, stay tuned for that. And you know how you can stay tuned for that? Be subscribed. Click that subscribe button, man. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, man. We're on the road to 400 subscribers. I need your help to get me there, man. Let's keep this train going. Also, like the video. Do all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And um, yeah, a little teaser as far as how I feel about Rebel Moon Part 1. It was, it was, it was kind of dry. It was, it was kind of dry, not going to lie. But let's see what there is to see here in this teaser for Part 2. Let's get it. Also, apologies if you do hear, you know, stuff in the background. I do still have company over. But I got to sit down and see what there is to see here. Okay. That was the Anthony Hopkins robot, right? Their nightmares us. I don't remember any of the characters' names, by the way. Together, except for the main one, Sophia Batella. She was Cora. You must know you cannot win. What's with the antlers? Gather every hunting rifle, every knife, every round of ammunition in the village. Star Lord! Or who? <laughs> That's what he said. So you know what Star Lord was. That's impressive. That's Seven Samurai, right? Dude, they got the damn. What, what are those called? What's those? The ATSTs? The Walkers? From Star Wars? The Flashback. Okay. For all that you love. There's Ray Fisher. Whoa, who is she kissing? Show them no mercy. You stand between us and annihilation. Also a flashback, right? Yeah. Or maybe she just, no, she probably just cut her hair back. She probably cut her hair back uh, short. Ah, oh, yes, the Yahtzees. Tell me what we're trying to achieve here. So she did cut her hair. The same thing as the last time we met. I kill you. I mean, she did break his arm. Spoilers. But, yeah. Like, she broke it, like, twice, I think. Or she broke both of them, something like that. So, as you could probably tell with my reaction to that, which was kind of just... I'll be honest, like, I could feel it in my face. I was like, I'm not really reacting much here. Because it's not really much to react to. It's kind of like... This trailer was kind of how I felt about the movie. It was kind of dry. It was kind of bland. It was kind of just like... Okay, like, I recognize the characters... Don't remember any of the names except for Cora, right? Sophia Batella, who I think was the best part of the movie. She was the most interesting character in the movie. Um, and this trailer, like, this is definitely, you know, I guess what? This is going to be their Empire Strikes Back moment, right? The, like, full-on war. Um, you know, it's going to be Seven Samurai teaching the village how to protect themselves. Because that's blatantly what Snyder drew from. And, like, there's nothing wrong with having inspirations. But sometimes when it's just, like, so overwhelmingly blatant i'm just like okay you're kind of getting into you're kind of getting into ripoff territory here but um it's interesting it's interesting looking at how this performed because right now rotten tomatoes which i know it's not the be all end all when it comes to you know how good or bad a movie is but like the audience score for it it's only 66 percent you would think with how big of a following Snyder has in his own fandom, you know, the I call them the Snyder cultists, right? You'd think it'd be higher. But a lot of people seem to agree that this movie is just kind of it is is just kind of bland, it's kinda of dry. They don't really allow you to connect to the characters as much as you would want to. Um 
I hope this movie... Here's the thing, right? Like, I don't like what Zack Snyder did with DC. I don't. Like, what he did with Man of Steel, BVS, and then his Snyder cut. I just, like... His stuff with DC, the only DC property of his, the only DC movie of his that I liked was Watchmen. But that was kind of like basically a blatant just copy and paste from the actual graphic novel, right? For the most part. Um, but I tried to put that aside when watching this movie. I really want to like this movie. I, can't, I feel like I'm doing my review here. But I hope this second part creates, I don't know, a more complete vision. I hope by the end of it, I actually give a damn. Because right now, I kind of don't. You know, I hope the second part changes it. Um, Sophia Patella, I feel like, is still going to be the best part, judging off of this. Um, the very little that we got here, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought of not only this teaser, what you thought of Rubber Moon Part 1 if you did see it. Or if you didn't see it, are you going to see it? You know, tell me why or why not. Do all that stuff in the comments down below. Run up the likes on the video. Once again, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.